Hello everybody, this is Adventure Capitalist, or rather the screen you'll get for Adventure Capitalist once you've, like, already started loading. I have currently got 17.256 Quinceptuagilinton. Basically a lot of money. So, let's actually proceed to the game for you. Okay, this is the game. Basically, you buy a ship and it earns you money. And therefore you buy more ship, so it earns you more money. And in a never-ending cycle until you basically either get bored or beat the game. Now, I actually already did beat Adventure Capitalist, the entire 522 goals of it, before they did an update to it, which added a bunch of new stuff. And this again highlights the main flaws of the game. If you look in my investors column here, you will see I have 2.1896 Sex Trigtlian Angels. And I can only claim 400,000, no, 400.61 Quattro Trigtilian Angels, which is around about six zeros less. Now, the problem with this is this has been around about this kind of deficit for the past eight, nine days. Probably, maybe by like seven. And the biggest issue with this is it's just not going up because Adventure Capitalist is incredibly badly designed if you want to play legit. I have huge amounts of everything, earning as much as I can. I can't really buy much more except in tens. Like if you look at the maxes here, like, there's not really much I can buy that will help. I mean, I'm only earning Duo and Trez Septuagdilientons of cash, but I can't earn any more. All the managers have been bought, or the like a bunch of upgrades are left but I can't afford them because I just don't have the money you know angels and stuff like this but you know and if I look at my unlocks I've still got a huge amount left because you know they changed how they unlock and everything they added a bunch more on which makes it a lot harder now you probably saw something oh yeah and investors too which but that's angels so I already saw that now you probably when I went on to the upgrades menu here you probably saw gold upgrades now Gold is paid currency, effectively. So if you look at this, you can see three times multiplier, angel claims, one day time warp, seven day time warp. And you can buy this for gold. And gold is exchanged via in-game money. As you can see, there's a shop tab down here. So if, if you look at all of this, it's... Uh, oh look, you can even buy a cosmetic gold suit for your character. How lovely. So... If you click buy gold, it should open a Steam tab, so I'm not going to do that because it won't go show up on the recording. But basically, I've gotten to the point in Adventure Capitalist where, unless I spend real-world money on this free-to-play clicker game, I probably won't ever be able to advance, short of cheating, or hacking, or basically in some way fucking with the game. This, ladies and gentlemen, is bad game design. If you want to see more bad game design, I'll show you what the moon looks like. This, okay, we get another screen here, same time, same money. This is the moon. Now, as you can see, the moon isn't quite as filled out as the planet Earth, because, well, the moon's a bit different. It was released earlier, I think a month or two ago, and it's a lot slower than Earth. A lot slower than Earth. By a huge margin, in fact. So, the main problem is, unlike a lot of the other things on Earth, the moon stuff costs a huge fortune to make and a gigantic fortune to actually get back. If we look at my uh, investors here, we see we have 16.612 quadrillion angels and it can only claim 109.132 trillion, which is a pretty damn big deficit of what? 16.5 um, oh three quadrillion difference? Yeah, pretty fucking big. So if we look at our upgrades, obviously I can't fi I can't quite afford the next one. Angel upgrades, nope, nowhere close. The next upgrade is fifty quintillion angels, which is just like plus ten of something. So, yeah. and if you look at the unlocks, I'm around about according to this about a third of the way, but it really doesn't feel like it. Upgrades aren't available, and managers. See, managers make things cheaper, but they require Duo Trig Intillion. And Trig Intillion is a huge amount above this. I can't buy hundreds here either. Like, if we just look at the price for one, it's like Undecillion, 
like huge amounts of cash and like this has taken me 22 hours to get to this point since the last time I spent money and the last few times I haven't been able to spend money because I just haven't had anything to spend money on it is a ridiculous ridiculous system adventure capitalist when you get to the late game is effectively milking you for cash and wanting you to buy stuff the upgrades however don't carry over see look at this this stuff this stuff is all different if you actually if you want all of this you're gonna need to spend more money so I haven't don't actually know the prices on the top of my head so if I'm gonna click buy gold oh no it doesn't luckily it doesn't go to a steam window like I thought it does oh look at that 1,300 gold bars and a free gold suit for only ninety nine point nine nine dollars how convenient Oh, and if you just want 20 gold bars for that really useful 3 times multiplayer, it's only $2. Gee, how helpful! I mean, it's not like I'm already earning gold bars. I mean, if, I mean, if we just go back down to Earth, let's have a look, shall we? Oh, I earned Quatricep Tim Tip Tip Tillion. Oh, look, I have banks and oil wells and films and, you know, lots of stuff that would probably have tons and tons of gold. Ah, oh, gee, if only I could use that gold to, I don't know, BUY FUCKING UPGRADES! Now let's have a look at Cookie, not Cookie Clicker. <laughs> now let's have a look at Clicker Heroes. Hello, so this is uh, Clicker Heroes. Now, Clicker Heroes is sort of locked, as it were. Clicker Heroes is locked to around about 30 frames per second it would seem but that's all right because it's a clicker game you know you don't really necessarily expect giant frame rates or anything like that so this is a new patch um apparent I, I don't think i think we've already dealt with this new patch i uh, don't know currently massively beating up this boss uh there's gifts over here oh right this is uh, this is just um stuff from my uh old stuff now this is something really cool now the clicker heroes is different you are uh, battle monsters basically see if you look at this I'm killing monsters with my end guys basically I'm not gonna go too much into it normally you'd click but because I've got a bunch of everyone at the moment I don't really need to because I had a ton of money from last ones um, you have different mechanics than this so power-ups down the side here they all do different things like super clicks that make clicks do more damage or the dark ritual which increases your DPS so I'm gonna use that right now because why not uh, golden clicks which give gold lucky strikes you know power-ups things that you can activate and they all have their own time load that they own load time even now they've actually added some new beasts in here as I can see like they've got things like spiders now um, they didn't have those before and you know you, you just generally progress at the levels I'll just turn on progression mode so it'll do it automatically while I'm doing this um, this is a bunch of stuff, like just a ton of information. Doesn't really use the scroll, but that's all right. So it's a, t it's just a ton of just boom. Basically, it's a lot of information. If you look, if you look for graphs and stuff, these are all the achievements in the game. Uh, yep, pretty good stuff. You know, things like relics, and which I assume are the new things I did in the patch. So that's probably new achievements that I need to go and unlock. And then you have these things called ancients. Now, ancients are created with hero souls, and hero souls are like angel investors in adventure capitalist. Um, every time you earn a certain amount of money in adventure capitalist, you get angel angel souls. And the same thing basically works here too. It, uh, the more hero souls you get, which is um, you get by uh, ascending after you've leveled up your heroes to a certain degree. You just ascend, you lose your heroes, and you lose all your cash and you gain a bunch of souls. So I have quite a lot of stuff. I've put around about 70 hours into this game. And you, you, it's paid off quite a lot. I've got some particularly a powerful uh, ancients. And treasures. I, d I don't know what this is. I'm assuming this is something to do with relics. I don't honestly know. I would imagine so though. So to give you basically an idea however, like this, this game is basically like um, this game is kind of like Adventure Capitalist in one sense, as it's basically about earning gold and hero souls to get up to do better, and like this constant idea of restarting and going again. But 
there is a shop here, right? A shop for paid currency. And I know what you're thinking. It's like, ah, this is terrible. This is horrible and terrible. And it's kind of, it sort of is. But there's another little factor. Gems are, can actually be found. I don't know what the model is for it now. But when I first played the game, it was head crabs. As you play the game, as you're active in the game. Oh, this, hang on, here we are. There. See that? That little gay message, the fish that I clicked on that popped up? That, my friends, is effectively the game's way of giving you currency. If you look now, I actually still have 15 rubies. Okay. So maybe it's, it's a, it may have worked to change a bit different. But at least when I played it originally, Clicker Heroes basically rewards you for playing the game by giving you currency. Now, actually, no, hang on, I got it wrong. When you click on those pickup things, sometimes it's gold, sometimes I think it's hero souls, and sometimes it's, you know, rubies. Which means the game will actually give you its paid currency while you play the game. Not very much, true, but it allows you to experience what the game has to offer to an extent. It basically rewards you for playing by giving these little bonuses. You don't have to click on them, they're not, in, they're not compulsory, they're just nice little bonuses, little extras. And it's a really, really cool way of saying, you know what, players? Here you go. Here's a little like way to say thanks for playing the game, and just like it's a really nice way to do it. Plus, Clicker Heroes has another rather useful feature. If we look into the options menu here, this is all the options menu. You can change tiny monsters, which um, helps with like um, figuring everything out, reducing lag and stuff. You can also import save files. So. Importing save files basically just gives you all the stuff that someone else has got. It's not always 100% very easy, but it's pretty streamlined, honestly, it's a pretty decent process. So if you really did want to cheat you out of the game, sort of, and just give yourself a huge, like, file with everything on it, you can do. Clicker Heroes doesn't, um, Adventure Capitalist doesn't allow that. But Clicker Heroes does, um, because Clicker Heroes used to be a browser game. I think Adventure Capitalist might have been as well. But Adventure Capitalist used to be a, no, sorry, Clicker Heroes used to be a browser game. And as a result, Clicker Heroes sort of goes, you know what, if you're playing on the browser and you've got a bunch of progress, it only seems fair that you can carry it over. So when they released it for free on Steam, they were like, hey, here you go. Now, I'm not 100% in favour of microtransactions, but this is a free game, so it's Adventure Capitalist, to be fair. But this game does something that I have not seen this game doesn't do what Adventure Capitalist does. This game is perfectly beatable without using the in-game currency. If you look, right, you don't, you don't get, like, multiple... You don't get, like, refreshes or anything like that. You know. You, you do get... Th well, actually, no, you do. You do get things like multipliers and, and golden cooldown stuff and, you know, random gilded heroes. Gilded heroes are, like, buffed heroes, basically. Um... Hero Souls and Ascensions, random relics, like, you know, Ascensions is like, when you leave the game, and, like, you, you can sacrifice everything to get Hero Souls, basically, which allow you to buy Ancients and stuff like that. And, uh, if we look on the Gilding thing, I think we should be able to look if we go to, uh, which bit is it? Um, Gilded, here we are. Oh, no, wait, got to scroll. Atlas, got in the way, Gilded, right. So these are all the Gilded people, right? I played the game quite a lot. I think I might have imported an existing save file as well, at some point. Gilded just increases damage, basically. And that's that's basically what all of this is doing. It makes the hero's model change and it gives them extra damage. So, it's not massively, amazingly, awesomely fantastic, but it, it's, it's helpful. It basically means you can make them do more damage and look cooler and be more efficient, basically. So, when it comes down to it, Clicker Heroes isn't a particularly difficult game, but it's interesting because it's got little monster sprites. There's like boss, some of the boss battles, especially when you're playing in the early game, can be really tricky. Like you have to use your power ups and click, and it's you know it's kind of a, it's a lot more interactive, interact, interactive, even. But the biggest difference I would say, and the biggest thing that I like, that's the difference between the two games, is, well. Clicker Heroes in itself is a lot more active. It's a lot more like, hey, thanks for playing your game. Here, have a present. You beat your record. Here, have a have a guild on your one of your heroes. You know, here, you know, try out our paid currency. Clicker Heroes is a lot more friendly. Adventure Capitalist feels like someone just went, we want your money. Give us your money. 
and we will make it so you can't beat the game without spending money, whereas this isn't the case. With time, with patience, with effort, you can get all the money on Clicker Heroes. Well, not all the money, all the achievements, all the completion and whatnot. And that is not only the biggest difference, but it's the best thing about it.